Hello YouTube, this is Mehab Khalila. Today I'm creating a video on how to run Windows 8 on Oracle VirtualBox. First you're gonna have to download VirtualBox, Oracle VirtualBox from virtualbox.org and the Windows 8 you got a link in the description you can download it from there. So let's start by downloading Oracle VirtualBox. You go to virtualbox.org. On the left side, in the sidebar, you got the downloads button. You click on that, and then you're gonna choose one of those that works on your operating systems. Uh, I have Windows 7, so I'm gonna choose the Windows hosts, and you got the both for both 32 bits and 64 bits. So after downloading the virtual box or Oracle virtual box, you will have to install it. I'm not going with the installation process because it will take time. So I did already download and install the Rock virtual box. So right now I'm going to run it. So let's run Rock virtual box. And now you're going to click the new button in here, as you can see. Now this is the information for the virtual box, the name of your virtual box or virtual machine, the type of operating system that you're going to run on, and the version of the operating system. So in here we're gonna in the type we're gonna click Microsoft Windows and in the version you're gonna click either Windows 8 32 bit or Windows 8 64 bits. I'm gonna go with the 32 bits and I'm gonna choose the name. It's gonna be Windows Eight YouTube. Okay, sorry. Okay, and now I'm gonna click next. In here, it asks you on how much of memory size or RAM size you want to use for the virtual machine. Now this depends on the the amount or the size of RAM that you got on your computer. Now I prefer the minimum of one gigabyte for Windows 8. So it kind of a like I'm sorry. It can start it can start you can start the operating system kind of smooth. If you increase more than one gigabyte the virtual machine will run faster but it might slow down your computer. So I'm just gonna stick with one gigabyte. The more you have, the better. I prefer minimum of one gigabyte for Windows 8. Uh, and it depends on how much RAM you got. Okay, so I'm gonna click next. One gigabyte of RAM. Okay, now it asks you if you want to create a virtual hard disk for your virtual machine. Yes, we're gonna have to do that if you if you want to store uh, to store data on your virtual machine. I'm gonna create. Click on create virtual hard disk now and cre click create the type file oh, I'm sorry the file type of your hard disk the virtual hard disk so I'm just gonna stick with VDI that it's usually the default dynamically allocated next now it it asks you for how much storage you want your virtual m machine to be able to store the um, it depends on the amount of, of storage that you got on your hard drive. It depends how much space you got on your hard drive. Um, so I'm gonna stick with 50 gigabytes and click create. Now the virtual machine is created but if you run it, it will not run Windows 8 until you tell it where to run from. So we're gonna click start. As you can see I did click. So of course you're gonna select the virtual machine and click start. Now it asks you where do you want to run your virtual machine from. Now in here you're gonna choose the Windows 8 ISO that I told you to download and the link for it is in the description as I told you before. Now in here you're gonna click the browse button which you know you can see it yeah the mouse is on it. So click choose a virtual optical DS file. Here you can see it. Okay. I clicked on it. And now it browses for the the type of file 
the Windows, let's say. As you can see, here is the Windows 8 all-in-one ISO. Okay, you're going to click on that and click Open. After you click Open, you're going to click Start. When you click Start now, the virtual machine starts on. Okay, as you can see, it's starting on. And voila, it's it's the Windows 8 running. Now all you have to do is install the Windows 8 and the all of the data that you do, all the stuff that you do on a Windows 8 on the virtual machine will be saved because you did choose to create a hard a virtual hard drive for it. So this is it YouTube. Thanks for watching. Um I'll do another installation video for the Windows 8 and um tools for it later on another video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.